Good morning ladies and gents, nice to see you! My name is Andrea if you don't know me and welcome to the Red Cyber Glass. So today I'm here to explain to you how to record a very high quality voiceover using your computer and also using Adobe Premiere Pro. So in this video we will go first through all the things you need, so all the gear. Second, I will explain to you the setting that you need to set up in your software to be able to record the voiceover. And third, actually I will be able to teach you and to explain to you how to record the voiceover. All right, so if this is what you're looking for, just take a seat, make yourself comfortable and stay with me. And let's get started. Okay, so open up Premiere Pro. When Premiere is open, make sure that you have a project with already a sequence, like in this example here. I have already put a, also a clip with some soundtrack to be able to record my voice over the soundtrack. You can do it also if the timeline is completely empty, so don't worry about having already clip, uh, video clip or soundtrack, etc. It doesn't matter. When we are here, let's go to the settings. So we move into the up left corner of our screen. We click on edit and we go to preferences. When we are in preferences, we select audio hardware. So we click on audio hardware. Here, what we care are these two uh, options. So default input, you, you need to make sure that it is selected the microphone that you are currently using. So I'm using to record the Rode and USB. So this is the one I need to be selected. Then concerning the default output, make sure that you have selected the, the device that you prefer to hear back the things you have recorded or the soundtrack. I usually prefer to have the headphone to be able to manage better, to hear better uh, the sound and the soundtrack while I'm recording. So make sure that in this case, this is selected. When this is done, you're not ready yet. You need to move on the left side of the menu. You click on audio and in audio, you go into mute input during timeline recording. This option guys is very important. It must be flagged. So check it, click it, make sure that it is clicked. If it is not flagged, what happens is that when you record your voice, you hear the return of your voice through the computer speakers or the headphones. And this is, guys, a painful thing. You, you are absolutely impossible. It's impossible to record. You are totally 100% distracted by the, the return of your voice. So make sure that this is clicked. When this is done, we have one last thing to check. So click OK, save your settings. Now let's go on window. You click here into uh, the sound setting. So click on sound setting of the computer we are in window you can find it also in your mac you go where there are the uh, property of your microphone and here make sure that the level volume of the gain the input the, 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 the volume that the voice you are recording is around 85 my experience this is the perfect compromise of having a very intense high volume quality uh, sound recorded through your microphone when this is done Click OK and now you're ready to record. So when all the settings are done, what you have to do is you go back into your project, you click in the timeline sequence, you select, you go into the track, audio track, where you want to record your voice over. So in our case, the audio track number one is already occupied by our soundtrack. So we will move into audio track number two. What we do is we go on the little microphone over here where you can find written voice over record. And what you have to do is to click there and start recording your voice over. Ah, first things first, select the point where you want to start record your uh, voice over, of course. And when you click, you have three seconds of uh, rewind before starting to talk. So let's see what happened. My name is Andrea and this is the voiceover recording for the video tutorial. Enjoy life, be creative and strive for what you love guys because life is one and short. When you are done, what you have to do is simply you click the bar space or you click again on the microphone and that, that's it, it's done. So what you can do now is you can potentially move your track where you want, you can also adjust the level of the volume to better match the volume of your voiceover with the volume of the soundtrack 
and that's it, it's done. That's all folks. I really hope you found this video uh, helpful in some way. So if you have any doubts, questions, comments, feedback, uh, whatever it is, drop a line into the comments down below. And if you want to stay in touch with me and to be reminded uh, when I will be uh, uploading new videos, just remember to click the notification bell, okay? So that you can be notified uh, when a new video is up into the platform. And that's all guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I will see you into the next video. Cheers!